Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Donna Ruco and you're on the list. We know a lot of Oklahomans are glued to the World Cup already, but if not, there are reasons you should be. Erin Christie has the top three stories you're talking about around Tulsa. At number one, football fandom. And it is an equalizer! Here's a list of reasons Okies should jump on the World Cup bandwagon. First, forward Chris Wondolowski, the first tribally enrolled Native American to play in the World Cup. His family lives in Carnegie, Oklahoma, where the Kiowa tribe is headquartered. Second, all your friends are doing it. Check out this cell phone video from self-proclaimed local World Cup headquarters, Empire Bar. And third, bars open early, so you have the perfect excuse to belly up in the middle of the week at like 10 in the morning. Mexico! At number two, funny election day tweets. It's good to know candidates and constituents still have a sense of humor. We know from past experience, you can throw a good party. So check out this tweet from Councillor G.T. Bynum. At Councillor Jeannie Q's watch party. Me, how's it looking? Jeannie, terrible. I ran out of potato salad. Hashtag priorities. You want to come in for some potato salad? I love potato salad. Then fake G.T. Bynum tweets. Me and Blake Ewing celebrating the win. Okay. And number three, simplifying the to-do list. That's the goal of Whiteboard, a professional and personal app created by Tulsa natives frustrated by all the existing options. Just find one that really fit our needs. Whiteboard is ideal for small business owners or people who work in teams. Jonathan and Scott, they're working on those to-dos today. And the reason why I know that is because they push their to that task into their today view. For sign-up info, go to thelistshow.tv. Now you are caught up and clued in around Tulsa. I'm Erin Christie.